May the Lord you remembered Anna mm. and lift her above. Lift you above. Amen, amen. May God lift you above mm. your foes. Amen. May He anoint you with the oil of gladness amen. that you shall stay above your foes. In the name of Jesus, amen. that your marriage you will survive. Amen. I want to declare no oppression will oppress you and cause your marriage to break. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus amen. that God shall give you grace, amen. that you shall rise up. Amen. I say you shall rise up amen. in the name of Jesus the and you shall be able to move up amen. in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. Another thing that makes people fade away, we understand, is lack of retreats. Mm -hmm. These ones we have been talking about. And I, I believe every couple that has been following us has taken this with a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Lack of retreats. You, go not, you don't go out. You don't refresh yourself yeah. by go, moving out. You don't have walks. You don't have an outing together. Yeah. Out dinners. All those things. Yeah. Those retreats are important in marriage. Yes. They refresh yes. you. That is why we are, we are talking about romance. Mm. Romance is one of the things that will make you Stay refreshed in marriage mm -hmm. and you don't quit it because uh, you are uh, refreshed always. I pray that this will happen Hallelujah. in your marriage relationship the in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Another thing now that face a burnout is lack of mentorship. And mm -hmm. I want to repeat this with a, a very loud voice. Mm -hmm. Lack of mentorship do you have a mentor in your marriage mm -hmm. some of us do not have mentors nobody mentors you in issues of marriage and <laughs> a mentor really is someone nice. that you can go and pour your heart someone you trust yeah. someone you know very well mm -hmm. and you have trusted your life for guidance to this person so you can pour your heart you can go a person will not mock you for your weakness, mm. criticize you or punish you for being weak or for doing mistakes. person who is ready to correct that mistake, that mentor. That's a mentor. And I want to say, I have realized, even most of the pastors, when I met them, they don't have mentors. They are the alphas and omegas. Huh? They don't, uh, they are pastors who are alpha and omega. They don't want mentorship. And I tell my wife, don't marry a man who cannot be mentored. In a man who says, my father is God alone, leave that man alone. <laughs> because he will, when trouble comes, where will you go? Mm -hmm. That man, Alpha and Omega, who has only God as his father, there is no authority on earth that he recognizes, that is not fit to be a father of your children. That is not fit. Run away from that man. Now, it's not fit. Now you're saying... Uh... Uh, that and someone is already married to such a man. Uh, uh, uh. If you are already married, I was saving those who are not already married. <laughs> if you are already married to that kind of a man, yeah. push him prayerfully, prayerfully yeah. into mentorship. Push him prayerfully into mentorship. And, also, and even if he does not want mentorship, seek for the mentorship yourself. Seek for mentorship. Go where you can pour out. Somebody you can trust, somebody you can talk to and say everything. And this person will pray with you. Hold your hands. Hold your hands in times of difficulties. Hold your hands and help you to go through wilderness. And you shall overcome. Mm -hmm. Those are mentors. Mm -hmm. You can never excel without a coach. You need coaches. Mentors are coaches. People are coaching you. And these people bring experience to your, uh, of their life to your life. And now if you, you, you look in life, there are people who have business mentors. They are, they are some mentors mm. in careers, in their talents, as you are saying, coaches. And of course, even some in the ministry, mm. they have mentors. Mm. But why a, a majority, when it comes to marriage, they don't have mentors that's, and they don't seek for one? That is lack of wisdom. So get wisdom, get informed today. So many marriages are affected because they don't have mentorship. There are so many people who are affected today. I, I know. There are those who are hearing even this program and the programs we have done and say, if I knew what I have had, I would not have committed 
mistakes I have done in marriage. I would be better. But look at this. That message is not hidden. It is there. Mm. But you have not been seeking it. You have not been able to connect with the right people. Do you have a role model? There are some role models that even are far away from you. You read about them. You seek. Mm -hmm. The people who inspire you. Do you have anyone who inspire you in marriage? Who inspire you to stay there? Do you have them around? When you ask players, they will tell you, I have somebody who inspires me. Is that my role model? Mm -hmm. And somebody that I know. So you have role models and you have also mentors. Role models, they may be far away from you. Mm -hmm. You may be admiring them because of their lives. Mm -hmm. You want to be like them. You want some impartation from their lives. So you also need role models mm -hmm. in marriage. Mm -hmm. Everything that you succeed, you start by looking for a role model. How do I follow? There's a pattern. Mm -hmm. Who has walked far away and moved in that direction and succeeded? I want to succeed. It is only those who have succeeded who can inspire you to succeed. Those who have failed, they will inspire you to fail. That's right. So look at successful people in marriage. Let them become your role models. Look at them. One of the things I started earlier in marriage, I started looking for role model. Mm -hmm. Who am I going to know? And when I say I saw some role models are becoming difficult to get, I say, God, I offer myself. Make me a role model in my generation. Make me a role model. Maybe I have not yet become, but I am dreaming. I will be a role model one time. Amen. That I will be a model that generations will watch in the area of marriage. You watch me and watch my family, watch my marriage, and then say, I would like to have a marriage like that. Mm -hmm. I would like to love my wife like that. I would like to walk like that. And you can offer yourself also mm -hmm. as a role model. Mm -hmm. Then, role models are mentors. You, can also, you cannot become that because you just desire. You have to offer yourself to be mentored. Mentors are there. They use their experience to coach you in life. Mm -hmm. They tell you, you, we have made a mistake here. Because one thing I know about mentors, they are real, authentic. They are not perfect, but they are real. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, we made this mistake. Don't make this mistake like us. Mm -hmm. And when somebody has an experience, there are things you don't need to pray to understand. Hallelujah. There are things that I know now in marriage that you don't need to fast the way I was fasting mm -hmm. so that you know you don't need to go for fasting. You ne just need to listen to me. And you avoid that fasting and fasting for something else. Wow. And that's how you can be better than me. Amen. You can be better than, you can only listen to me as I train and then become like me. Should you be need better. to be better. Yes. What I am giving to you, information I'm giving to you, mm. is to help you become better in a marriage than I am. Hallelujah. My children should be better than me. Mm. Because now they are watching me. Mm. I'm coaching them. I'm telling them what they need to do. So you also, you are listening to me. People like Tabitha, I can see you, you are there. <laughs> You're not supposed to be like me. You are supposed to be better than me in your marriage. Mm. You're supposed to walk better ways than me in marriage. Mm. So you're supposed to be good. Mm. So <laughs> mentors use their experience to show you the things that you need to know so that you cannot make a mistake. And they challenge you to And they challenge you. Yes. It is also wise, as sometimes, not even when you have a specific person, you can even sit down with a couple. You have seen them 20 years, they are there. Mm -hmm. And they have been there, you can say, what's the secret? Tell us. And you can take a cup of tea and become their friends, visit them regularly, and take 20 minutes. Learn from them. Learn from them. Hear what they are saying. And I want to tell you, your marriage will be better. Amen. So if the mentors come to your way, they will use their, their experience Amen. to help you. Amen. Experience, it may not be good, but the experience, even if it is bad, it will help you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, avoid this. Uh, when we are young like you, we made this mistake. Mm -hmm. When we were like this, we made this mistake. Mm -hmm. If you avoid it, your marriage will be better. And you learn very quickly. Amen. You learn, you go there. Mm -hmm. The mentors also will give you knowledge. Yeah. There's things you don't know. They will tell you. 
and they sharpen your skills now because that is the purpose of knowledge. They make you more programmed. They make you more focused. They give you that program that you can follow in marriage. Mentors are needed in every area of your life. So once you follow a mentor who has knowledge, don't just look for That's why we tell people, don't even go for, for best man because he has a car that you want to use that day of the wedding. Go for a person who has knowledge and you can inherit something from him. Impartation. Impartation. That person you can sit down, mm -hmm. listen to that person, and get some knowledge that can help you to better your life. So mentors are needed in the area of marriage. And most married men and women, they don't have mentors. And I started by saying most men of God, they don't have mentors. And what they have, most are leaders in their religion. Leaders, you have an overseer, you have an over, but you don't have a mentor. That overseer is not a mentor. Anytime you make a mistake, this person will punish you. They don't bring you up. They carry a badizo. They are ready to castrate you at any minute. They don't raise you up. They don't circumcise. Some, uh, yeah, they don't circumcise. They, they carry a badizo. That, 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 instead of them circumcising, they castrate. Oh, and so you, you go there when even you have done a mistake you cannot tell this person because he will castrate you so uh, you need to look for mentor even if it's outside your ministry even if it is outside your ministry you have to have with and talk about your weakness talk about your problem cry and this person will help you give you a shoulder to cry and tell you it's okay you can rise and show you how you can rise. So you need people who can circumcise your heart. No people who can castrate you. You need them. And they are there. As you're talking, I, I remember of you, you, you've been having some incidents mm. with events and men of God. Yeah. They have gone, fallen, and uh, they have done even some things that you cannot mention. Yeah. But when they come and they just confide with you, they mm. talk. The, the, some of them maybe they are, they are waiting to be condemned mm. but when you, when you embrace them I've seen men cry mm. they, they, cry. When... they cry they cry until even somehow I run away mm. but these people within a very short time they are reconciled they are healed. and they are healed mm. and they are doing very good in ministry and even in marriages so I think people should be very keen to look for mentorship mentorship, yeah. mentorship. They are you fathers. can see Moses. Moses he was he was almost to die because of burnout. Mm. Burnout in the ministry. And I believe you cannot have burnout in the ministry and the family remain well. Mm. That's when Jethro, the father-in-law, he became his father. Mm. Not just a father-in-law, mm. but he became his, his mentor. He told mentor. him, go and uh, seek for leaders. Mm. And let these leaders do these minor responsibilities. Mm. And you deal with major responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And that way you may, you take this ministry far. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't do so, you'll die early. Ali. So there are people, even what they are carrying is dead in them. Mm -hmm. They are carrying dead talents, mm -hmm. dead potentials, dead, everything is dead because they have been overwhelmed. Burnout cannot overwhelm you. And burnout can reach a level where everything is dying within. Mm -hmm. So mentorship is very important. Even, even this week, I was dealing with a case and it's concerning a man of God. Yeah. And the things that he told me, he told me, no one else I have ever told. But the way I talked to him when he came, he really and he has issue in the family, mm -hmm. marriage. Yeah. The way I talked with him, he immediately became very, very secure. And he was able to open, open up. up. And actually, and, uh, I, I met you and he was <laughs> I, very I could keen. not condemn yeah. him. Yeah. Because this person has come. Amen. If my man can be forgiven by God when he comes and humbles mm. before mm. God, what who are we men to condemn. that we can condemn this person, kick them out? A person is willing to, con to confess his sins to and he wants to be for uh, forgiven. He wants you to help him to go to God. He does not want you to do anything else. He, he wants to use that connection you have with God to just help him come to God. Oh my God. And that is what we are supposed to do as good people when we are called by God. That's what we are supposed to do. But a person who is living a sinful life and is not ready to correct that sinful life, we can condemn. Yeah. Because that is what the Bible has told us. Mm -hmm. But now, I want to say this. Mm -hmm. Many people don't have mentors. 
in marriage. They don't have mentors in, their, in, in marriage. So in ministry, I said, obvious, they don't have. Most of them. Because what they have is overseer, rank of their religion. This overseas, this overseas, this overseas, this, my leader in ministry. But you're not a mentor. Understand there's a difference between your leader and mentor. So you need to understand that kind of a thing. Your leader may, may not even be your spiritual father. Yeah. Your leader may not be your mentor. So you need to, um, to connect to the right person who has what it takes to cultivate your heart and bring you to the place of connection with God, a place of connection with your destiny. This is the only way you can rejoice and enjoy things in life. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have, then there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. So a mentor will use is it. So there are things I know now. My sons are not supposed to struggle. Those people that are under me, you know, they are not supposed to go to fast to hear these. To fight battles that you have won. And even battles that I have won, yeah. you, are not, you are not supposed to fight them. Mm. You are supposed just to inherit, become loyal and inherit. Mm. What I have prayed and fasted to know, because uh, most of the things I understood about marriage, I fasted, I prayed. And then God started printing things in my life and telling me, this is how things are done. This, because I failed. The reason why I prayed for a life partner, I took time to pray and even when that generation all those times we never knew the partners were being prayed for. <laughs> but uh, I took time to pray and seek God. I never met a preacher who told me, pray for the life partner. Apart from one met me in a prayer center when I was fasting for 40 days. And this person told me, you young man. And he told me when I had already a wife. God does not speak, don't marry. Because he was going through some hard times in marriage. And he told me what he was going through. And the ministry are being sabotaged because marriages are not working. So when I got that, I prayed. The reason why I was praying, I never prayed because of anything. I knew wives are disturbing. That according to the, 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 the testimonies that I had seen and what I have heard from men of God. So I was praying for God to give me a wife. So when this wife become a troublemaker, I will report her to God. That's why, that is why I was praying. So that when she brings problem to me, I will tell God, this is becoming a problem and you are the one who gave me. And you have said you failed. And and what did you fail? Is now, <laughs> listen to me. So when I, I looked at that issue and I, I saw that uh, it's true, some are going through that and the, according to their testimony, I said, let me pray for so that God will give me. And then Immediately when I was praying, God told me, it's not a must. You face what they have faced. Say, Amen. huh? What is the problem? Mm -hmm. Say, they lack knowledge. And they said, now you need knowledge. If you get it from me, mm -hmm. you'll not face what they are facing. But then, what is this knowledge? He started now downloading knowledge of marriage. And then it became too much. I thank God. The same way she was also praying aside. And also God started downloading knowledge to her. So we met. And when we met, we had knowledge about what we are about to face. Yeah. Because she had said she will not get married. So she prayed on her, on her side. And now we met. And now, even in our worship, God never wanted, waited for us to get married. Before we started training. Yeah. We started training couples before we got married. We were even getting sick and tired to see the mistake they are making. And God is talking to us. Hmm. So we started training. And I thank God, in where we come from, they say a young man who is not married cannot speak to married people. But God gave us favor. They started saying, these are Timotheos. Yeah. And they started saying, these Timotheos are here. And they started saying, young men who are older than their ears, speaking older things. And all of a sudden, couples... Old people began to embrace us. And we began to talk to them. Grace. And groups of people would come. And we would speak. That time they never knew. Even when we were in the same conference and same meeting. They never knew we, we are engaged and we shall get married. Because we are not uh, announcing ourselves. I see these days, even when you get an, a person comes and proposes, the next time you post it 
on social media. I am in a relationship. The devil will knock you, you will die even before you get married. The devil is not a joke. These days I say people, you don't understand who you are giving information. Who is waiting on the media to hear that? The witches, they are watching this program. Mm -hmm. The witches, they are seeing the photos that they are posting. Yeah. And they are, before they used to get it very rough to get photos, it, for the point of God, today they are downloading them from your own phone, from the social media that you are posting. So you need to understand when are you supposed to speak? Yeah. When are you supposed to speak that about the relationship? So you say, hey, I am, I am in love. And you are showing it on the social media. And you have not prayed. The next thing we hear you say, it is over. How did it become over? Yeah, you didn't even understand. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. You are knocked. <laughs> so you don't. We have a procedure, even how you expose your relationship. And this is what, what we were taught by God. Mm. Never say this until this time. You deal with this. Even in your family, you cannot take a man just that, or a woman. Until you deal with the family orders, mm -hmm. you deal with the curses, yeah. you deal with the generational problems mm -hmm. that are surrounding that, yeah. you deal with the strong ones of your area, mm -hmm. you deal with the powers of the governing authority, you deal with all those forces. Praise the Lord. If you don't deal with them, marriage is that is uh, of position, right there. So we know these streets. So God showed us what to do and gave us direction one step at a time one step at a time so these people when we teach them as couples they were praying god i pray <laughs> i pray that these people will be united connect them god. connect them <laughs> connect them they be husband and wife connect them so one time when we produce cans now the wedding is around the corner some sisters say we prayed when you came to teach us that seminar we prayed that God will unite you. We were united even before we came for that thing. But people, you never knew. It's only that we are mature. We are, we are mature. We are not exaggerating anything. anything. Yeah. So you could not know. <laughs> There's some people who exaggerate and then the devil takes advantage of them. Mm. So we never exaggerated anything in our marriage. Those who know us, yeah. they can tell you for sure how we lived. Even how some people, were, how we conducted ourselves. And some people even were confusing. Mm. They were getting confused if we are we have a relationship or not? Actually, there's a lady who confronted me and she, she told me that I, uh, you are my brother. So yeah. those who just joke around, can you connect me to your brother? <laughs> you hear that? They never knew. Yeah. So, so when even we engaged, there's somebody who kept telling her to connect her to, yeah, so to, his, when, to when, her brother. When I the brother is that, me now. <laughs> that uh, man came to you, they told me, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. You are kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we know this. Yeah. And now we want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, mm. what you need is the knowledge. And there are people that God has prepared for, for you, yeah. to prepare a way for you. Mm. Why go through rough mountains? Mm. There's somebody who told me, a minister, came to my office and sat with me and told me, let me tell you, I have seen, instead of going all the way asking for the way, <laughs> yes. and I don't know, it's better I stop and see a man who knows the way, then I ask. So he said, I know there's something you know, because I see what you are doing. So I know there's something you know. So I have said, I don't want to go and waste my time there. Tell me the way to go. And then we will sit down and start talking. This of a sudden say, there are so many pastors I've talked to. They have come. It's the issue. We sit down and say, hey, I was going to this prayer mountain to pray about this issue. But now, I have canceled. I am going to pray for another issue. Well, I am well, going to pray. Thanks. Because there is somebody God gave that information. That is why you need a mentor. Do you have a mentor? That's a question you have. Do you have a role model in your marriage? Is there any somebody that you can go and sit there and talk and discuss marriage? Most people do not have mentors as far as marriage is concerned. Somebody is waiting for your an answer. Answer. You said you failed. That's why you prayed. So uh, there's a part. I, I not fail. I said yeah. I failed to see a mentor. All right. And I failed to see a raw model. Okay. And that. therefore, when I did not see any, and I, I feared to fail in marriage, okay. because it's I have clear. seen so much testimonies, I feared to fail. fail. And because I feared that, 
And that is why I prayed. Amen. And I, I prayed not because of anything else. Because I, according to conclusion, there must be trouble in marriage. So I prayed that I get a wife from God. And I made sure I get her from God. So that <laughs> whenever there is trouble, I will report her to God. And that God, that's the way God told me now. You don't have to get that trouble. Oh they get that trouble because they don't have knowledge. And now he started feeding me with knowledge. So do you have a role model? Is there anybody that you can look at and say, this is a person that can, I can want to imitate? This is a person I want to follow. I can follow this person as he follows Christ. This is a physical example. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, can you sit under somebody to be given instruction? To be mentored is not easy. That's why some of us yeah, avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because That's for true. me to mentor you, you must do what I do. <laughs> so if I pray, I tell you, you have to pray like this. You have to do this. You cannot tell me I want you to be my mentor. And when I wake up in the morning, you are sleeping. So I'm, when I wake up and you are around me, you wake up together. We meet there in that field of prayer. We meet there. Well, the things that I do, you do. Because that is how I can mentor you. I cannot mentor you because I say, Father, I receive it. It does receive by ta 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 and Father, I receive it. There are things you have to follow. And when you follow, you will get that. Mm. Testimonies of the mentors encourage you. Yeah. There are some people you don't, you don't know they have ever faced a turbulence in life. And when they sit with you and say, we face this, mm -hmm. they say, oh, you, you. There's some people we meet with them and we tell them how we have been going out, what we have gone through ministry, how we were walking for long distance, how we used to walk with the one bag written, uh, Jesus is Lord, yes, born, and how it was. I said, you? Mm -mm. It does not look like that. It's exactly that. Sleeping angry. Sleeping angry, going to places, walking for hours and hours to go and preach, carrying a bag that would carry your, <laughs> your luggage, that, that will carry all your items for one week. And people are waiting for you. You are sweating. And then still they are waiting for you to preach. All this, I used to know all shortcuts in that area. And I would meet with some people, I talked to them today, they bow their heads. They like you, I met you with a bicycle. <laughs> And you did not help me even to cut a bag. You just greeted me and you said, hey, well, you are going for meeting, we are coming. And you could not see my bag. And you, they would bow their hands. So I would tell them, most of the time when I was meeting with you with a shortcut, I did not have money, even lunch. There's no lunch. We used to go with her in an hotel where we know there is no food, a cave. And we would ask, where is food? What kind of food? They say, we don't uh, sell food here, we sell snacks. So we could ask for those snacks. Because that is where our money would take us. Mm -hmm. There is a big hotel we used to pass in a certain town. And my wife was telling me that time we are engaged. We are going for a field, somewhere in the field, to, to sit down and discuss and hear revelation from God. And then she would tell me, or one day we look for 1,000 and enter this place and hit. That 1,000 that time is like 100,000 today. Now, <laughs> now I, I told her, no, don't force the level of grace. Mm -hmm. I I visit that town today. I, I, I think the last time I visited that hotel, maybe it was 2008, 2009. Right now, uh, I cannot show my, my face there. It cannot see me. Now, <laughs> look at that. Now, I want to say this in short. Testimonies. Testimonies. Yeah. Or people who have gone through what you want to go through can encourage you. And that's why we, when we sit in marriage, some time lessons, we look at that. how many years have you stayed in marriage? What can you say? A 20 year, you have to open your eyes and listen to the 20 year. You see them walking, smoothly in marriage, and you are just a two year, listen. Five years, listen. That experience, mm, it will take you, ambulance. it will take you far. Yeah, yes. When this, 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 this person talks with the experience, you will hear experience itself. There are things you may be trying to do now. I'm going to do my husband this to get discipline. I will do my wife this to get discipline. Sit with people who tried it. And they will tell you with how they did it perfectly than you are thinking. Mm -hmm. And what they got, the results. You will not try it. 
You not right. You hear experience. Experience is the best teacher. And you have not to experience it. There's no need for that. It is only fools mm. that are taught practically through some things. Others you have to learn yeah. from other people. Yes. What did they go through? Yes. What did they achieve? Mm. And when you sit with them and listen to them mm. and get that information, I want to tell you it will shape you yeah. and shape your destiny. So mentors provide that platform that you can sit with them. They can tell you. They can give you uh, their life testimonies. And this can change your marriage. Can change your perception yeah. even about some In issues. Today's a refresh. generation, they, even if you tell them about mentors, they see them as if they are outdated. Mm. How can they, you, you can there's nobody who can see a man's outdated. Coaches are most valid in any field, in any area. They are the most you, valid. They are most valid, and you have to listen. A team with a lot of talents can lose in a competition because of coaches. So a coach is a determining factor when it comes to winning. And we need coaches. Amen. In marriage, we need coaches. coaches. Praise the Lord. We need somebody who can sit with you and tell you, young man, we have seen many things like this. You need to rectify like this. And you listen <laughs> and they apply what they are telling you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you win. Mm -hmm. Then these people who coach, they motivate. Yeah. The mentors, their work is also motivation. They motivate you. They show you what you can do. They can look at you and say, you, you, you are this potential. And then begin to show you how you can rise to that level. And we need such people in marriage. Most people even are mere seminar. They don't attend. It's just so many marriage seminar to refresh you. You are busy yeah. selling in your kiosk. Yeah. You are busy going to saloon. And you, you say, hey, I am busy, I planned. You tell your husband, can you be going alone? I will join you. Then your husband says, no, I can't go alone. All of you miss.